Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel, to the vlog. Man, did I get her done? Well, only time will tell. Meaning, I had a lot of work to do, a lot of work to get done. I don't know if you've seen the garage before. Sorry, I didn't, didn't record all the stuff I did. But at the same time, guys, I did get her done. I got some of the stuff knocked out that I wanted to get knocked out. I didn't get to build my shed in time, so I did something else in the meantime to where I can get my shed done, and then I'll just move everything back. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick on what it looks like in this garage. And, you know, pretty much I am walking in circles. You can see pretty much some of it because I know this GoPro gives some of it away. But I went ahead... And got it cleaned okay and I had to do some things so I want to show you real quick I did put this and I'm just gonna put it back on the ground but I got all my stuff in there which I'm not gonna show I'm not gonna open it up it just takes too long but I went ahead and rid of me one of those and put it in there got the wheels back on here put everything that went in the car back in the car except for the seats the seats are not gonna go back in Unfortunately, I'm going to be trying to do something else with the seats, but I'm not going to spill too much of the beans on the seats. Sorry, it's so windy. But at the same time, guys, I want to let you know I did get it, you know, taken care of. I'm putting, I'm putting it back on the ground and getting it in the garage. Hopefully, we get it in the garage. And I will try to record as much as possible of me trying to get it in the garage. But I want to go ahead and show you right now that I did go ahead and get the garage cleaned up. I got pretty much all the stuff in the in that storage that little uh view haul container thingamajiggy whatever you want to call it to get the car in here and then like i said i did a lot of work i did it off camera i did a lot of work off camera i did it a couple of hours of work while i was at work and when i got off work i did a lot of work how i did that but like i said before guys i'm totally sorry on what i did i didn't record that and i didn't record me putting the tires and stuff back on because it was just too much of a headache but i wanted to let you guys know that i did get it done so this is the re, re it's not going to be a repeat, it's going to be the um, actual video of the had to move video. Um, to let you know guys, it wasn't a joke, it was real, I had to do it, uh, and it was one of those things that had to be done. So with that, with that being said guys, I went ahead and got it done, like I said, this garage is clean, and hopefully I can record me getting it in here hopefully i have enough room unfortunately it looks big but at the same time you know looks can be deceiving and i got a strange feeling this thing right here is going to be in my way and i don't have much room but at the same time the car don't look that big but we will know soon enough if the car is big enough if the car is small enough if it's going to fit here or not and i can still close the garage and still jack it up the same way i had it when it was out there and still do the same thing that i was doing out there in here just had to figure out how to get most of the stuff out uh, i might have to just run it through the trunk i know for sure that the trunk does not have anything blocking it so i might have to run everything i put in there through the trunk and get it where i need to get it and store it and whatever whatever but i just want to do this quick video not really quick but i wanted to do this video I'm going to pause this video, but I want to do this video and let you know, guys, I did get this garage cleaned up. If you've seen the previous video, do you know how I did it? I mean, not how I did it, but what I had in here and how much stuff I had in here. And right now it is totally clean. So I will resume this video. It might be a two part to this video. I don't know. It just depends on how long it takes me to get this stuff set up, get everything set up and get this U-Haul um, unhooked and get the car pushed into the garage but i am trying to do it all in one day so guys i'm going to pause it here come back when i decide figure out if it's going to if i'm going to be able to push it in the garage or not and to let you know guys it does not have a steering wheel i'm going to show you real quick before i you know get done it does not have a steering wheel I don't know if you can see that but it doesn't have a steering wheel so i'm going to be pushing it with my with the, with this truck right here and hopefully you know be able to do it slowly and turn the wheels and stuff like that hopefully it works out for me and we'll get it done and stuff like that since i don't have steering so guys i am going to record all this stuff that i'm doing hopefully you get to see it so guys stay tuned and i will be back here shortly am i going to get it in guys we're moving it Back up. 
On this side, on this side, bro. We got it in. We got it in. Put one on that side. On the back. We got it in the garage. It is officially in the garage. I don't know what this kid did, but we got it in the garage. In the garage in the garage and i still have room to get to my freaking ice box so my calculation was correct i got it in the garage i just had to move a little bit of things guys i am super super stoked hopefully you can see me but i'm super super stoked that i got it in here and still have room to do other things i might go ahead and figure out how to move this ice box and put this right here over there on that side and unfortunately, guys, I do want to say I'm sorry. I didn't show this, but it's don't get me wrong. I'm super sorry to say I went ahead and took this apart. But I did say in previous videos that I when I going to take that apart, it's going to be going back in the car. But circumstances happen. Things happen. It didn't work. So I am not getting it back in the car. Unfortunately, it's just because I had to get it moved, get the garage dust, this, all that. And I want to say... Guys, I'm super stoked that I got it in here. Uh, and I still be able to close my garage and still be able to do other things in my garage and still be able to work in a car in the garage in peace and quiet. Um, just when I have to jack it up, I'll have to figure out how to do that. But at the same time, guys, I got it in the house. I mean, in the house. I got it in the garage, man. I'm so excited. Oh, God, I'm so excited. It paid off. I got it in the garage. And... Now I can have the CD off my butt and they won't be complaining about seeing my car. I'll just have to do other things to get things done. But guys, man, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't be, you know, just, uh, I want to say thanks to all the people that helped me get to where I am today. And that, that's including my mom for being there for me and helping me and let <laughs> I was getting too excited and the camera died. So guys, I just want to say, if I didn't pick this up before my camera died, I want to say thank you to U-Haul for making this possible. I am not sponsored by U-Haul, but at the same time, I want to say thank you, U-Haul. I want to say thank you, mom, for letting me borrow your truck to get, uh, let me borrow your truck to get your, you know, get my things, my things where they need to be. And finally getting this, this, Oh my God, guys, in the garage. Yes, it is full. I don't know if you can see it, but it is full. It is full to the, to the, to the top, man. I'm super excited to get this in here. So I want to say 
thank you for watching like subscribe comment share and guys we'll see you guys on the next one after i tell you follow me on facebook instagram twitter and tumblr tumblr it's not tumblr it is <laughs> but anyway uh if you like this video like this video hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified on any new activities on this car right here hit that notification bell and we out